How's it going everyone? It's AFC Finners here. We're here in Tuffley, Gloucestershire to see Tuffley Rovers against Brimscombe Thrupp in the Hellenic Premier Division at Glevon Park. This is going to be an interesting day. This is the lowest tier we've been to in ground to ground so far. Only £5 for a ticket. I didn't even know this team existed until the other day where Tom Aldo told me about this match. But before we go inside Glevon Park, let's find out a little bit about today's hosts, Tuffley Rovers. Tuffley Rovers were founded in 1929 and would spend many years playing in district leagues before a couple of promotions saw them enter the Hellenic Premier Division, the ninth tier of English football. They would, however, have to resign from this league in 2006 due to financial issues. Seven years later, however, they would achieve promotion again and return to the Hellenic Premier Division. The club have established themselves in this league since and hope to climb further up the National League Pyramid. Overall, they have won one Hellenic League Division 1 title and one Gloucestershire County League title. And a bit of trivia, Tuffley Rovers' original headquarters were inside a former railway carriage, which also served as founder Donald E. Hall's boot and shoe repair shop. So those are our hosts, Tuffley Rovers. Let's have a look inside their home, Glevon Park. <laughs> look at these, got these lovely old-fashioned seats. Well done, you don't see them anymore, but I do like that. Proper retro. We're just having a walk around the outside the pitch. You can just walk anywhere and there's no issues. No, I really like this. This feels like it perfectly encapsulates non-league. Because I think it's something we're very privileged to have in English football. We can just access games like this easily. Whereas in like countries like Italy and Germany, like the third or fourth tier isn't even like this standard. So I think we're very privileged that we have so many teams that we can go and see. I really like this. I've been to, you know, Old Trafford and Wembley and those are great, but it's also nice. At the other end, I think that's something great. Both ends you can appreciate, but in different ways. Really looking forward to this game. I know very little about either team, and but that kind of adds to the excitement you learn as the game goes on. So yeah, really like this stadium and very excited for the afternoon. 360 for a pint, not bad. Right, so about 10 minutes in and Brimscombe have taken the lead. Number 10, Pitt has swung it in and it's been headed in to the nets by number 5, Kyle Pitts. Pitt and Pitts linking up. Fair reflection so far, Brimscombe have probably been the better team. 1-0. Well, we're 18 minutes in and toughly the feet closed. The ball was swung into the middle of the box, it went up in the air and then a Brimscombe defender tried to deal with it but he completely failed on summer, headed it into his own net. 1-1, game on. So about half an hour in and Tuffley have now come from behind to take the lead. They had a terrific shot come off the bar and on the rebound, number 11, Lewis Brainridge has placed it in. 2-1 to Tuffley. 36 minutes in and Brimscombe have levelled. The Tuffley defender tried to head it back to the keeper and then Brimscombe's number nine latched onto it, slid it past the keeper, off the post and in. 2-2. This is some game for a fiver, I must say. Forty minutes in and Brim's coming back in front. The ball's played out wide to Sam Folks and he's put it beyond the keeper. What a game we're seeing here. Three two to Brimscomb. <laughs> Right, so ball was swung into the middle, Brimscombe scored again. It's the centre forward number nine, White, who's got his second of the game. It's now 4-2. I've now paid less than a pound per goal. Six goals in the first half, 4-2 to Brimscombe. Where do they go now? So, half-time, 4-2 to Brimscombe. What a game we are enjoying here. Six goals. Brimscombe go in front, Tuffley go in front, then Brimscombe go back in front. It's a game full of twists and turns if we only had the first 45 minutes. But this is fantastic value for money. Having a great afternoon. I can't wait for another half. It's going to be very entertaining. 4-2 at half-time. So we'll get food or drink here. Pretty much everything is a quid except the burgers, which are 250. And look at that. That hot chocolate I got is huge. It's American levels. The value for money over here, it's off the scale. I love it. I was worried that because we saw so many goals in the first half, we would see none in the second half, but we have now. It's 5-2 to Brimscombe. Balls played into the middle, slotted in by number nine, Jack Smith, for his hat-trick. 5-2, that's the game probably sealed for them. I said 7-3. About 75 minutes now and it's 6-2 to Brimscombe. Corner swung in, volleyed into the net. Eight goals now. 
Full time, it has finished 6 2 to Brimscombe. I think overall, a fair result, despite toughly, briefly leading. Brimscombe are by far the better team, and they've got the win that they deserved and in some style. And we've seen eight goals in total. That's an FC Finners record. Probably be a while before it gets broken. Great game. Congratulations to Brimscombe, and thanks to Toughly. I like this ground. I hope to come here again. <laughs> So that was Tuffley Rovers Cleveland Park. I've had a really fun afternoon here and like I said several times, what a game. Eight goals, 6-2. It's a shame for Tuffley Rovers, I wanted them to win, but I still really enjoy myself here and I must say it's a really good place to watch football. Five pounds, great value for money. Food and drink is affordable and reasonably priced. A quid for pretty much everything from the hot food beer and it was only 3 60 for a pint, which compared to other places is really reasonably priced. If you're in Gloucestershire, well, go to a football match. I definitely recommend coming here. I think it's a good experience. A lot of it's summed up what non-league is like. During the game, we met a bunch of dogs in the stadium. We saw one of the away managers go for a cigarette during the match. And we also saw one of the substitutes have a piss in one of the bushes behind the dugouts. So, <laughs> welcome to English non-league. Thank you, Toughly Rovers. It's been a good game. Only a fiver. Absolute bargain. And I'd like to come back. So, thank you for watching. See you next time. And stick with us as we go ground to ground. AFC Finners out.